Olá amigos, we're back here in Natal, Brazil with our friends Jose and Isabella. On this episode, we're going into an indigenous community. Yay, indigenous community. To see what true Brazilian life is like without touristic modernization. Another unknown adventure to Gamboa de Jaguaribe. Yeah, that's a native piece of land community that keep protecting and uh, developing this traditional native culture, like this is a plant that's natural colorant that they use and it's also repellent from bugs that grow there naturally. And when you enter the place, you can already feel such a disconnection from all the, you know, Wi-Fi, all those electricity towers. It all affects our aura. When you enter there, you feel such a clean connection to your channel, to like, so nice, nothing distracts you. And these are the typical houses that the natives would normally live in. Here you see we're in this hut that is in the form, you feel like you're in the womb, utero, womb, you know, inside the womb. They also do some ceremonies with sound there. I think we look pretty authentic. And it was fun, you know, to mix with different people. And here we are walking, it's pretty hot in this Atlantic forest jungle. And you can see a lot of interesting type of fruit, very unusual. Brazil surprised me. I have never seen such a number of different berries growing in the trees that are like, doesn't remind me anything from where I have been before. And this river with the sky, it's like totally made Zaki landscape, man. We were crossing with this very cool local guy. He was funny and positive in this heat. But in the process, he, you could see he's like so, you know, such a root guy. La gente de raíz, muy de la tierra. We just finished a little hike through the forest and a boat ride through the river, and had a good swim. In the forest, there are literally crabs. Then the river was sal salty, but not like the ocean because of the ocean water close. It was a little bit salty, but very nice. You can even open your eyes and swim. And yay, the shower. It was so good to have a shower. Like. And then there is this turtle with the red nose that came out. Mirala. She is enormous. She's big, eh? With the red nose. This is what the, from nature comes the inspiration. Yeah. One of the few times I actually film food, we love authentic, delicious food all around the world, but I feel so present while I'm eating that I don't like to film, but this was such an incredible, authentic experience that of course we had to film it. So we had corn from the land, tapioca on palm leaves, they had sucos de acerola, and we were even drinking our juices from coconut shells and pumpkin shells. Local juice of berries, acerola. And um, corn, meal, as we told you. And this is used like little kind of like plates. <laughs> yeah, coconut bowls. And these ones are made of um, calabasa. No. Oh, mm -hmm. coconut calabasa. Okay, special plant for this, not coconut. Here they call juice suco. In Spain they call it sumo. In Puerto Rico, lo llaman jugo. Food and drink culture revolves around fresh fruits and vegetables from the local area. It was inspiring. There is so much connection with nature when you live there. One morning in Natal, we serendipitously met a wonderful new friend. I always want to create and I was feeling a lack of contact with musicians, something alive, and I was I want to meet someone with a hand drum. It's so beautiful here, I want to create something here. And then we're just walking on the street, like two minutes later, we're walking along the beach, and I see this guy coming with a hand drum. Gabriel's another nomadic creative. He's from another part of Brazil, but he just went to Natal to explore and play handpan and see what opportunities he could create there. We invited him to record something soon in the studio, so everything was really manifesting pretty fast and we recorded a track improvising in the flow from a feminine cosmic energy. Yeah, you can listen to a bit of it here.
Bom dia, amigos. Bom dia, amigos. We're here in Natal, Brazil. Why are we here? Why are we here? Yeah, that's a good question. Why are you here? Uh, nobody probably heard of Natal, right? When you think of Brazil, you think of Rio, uh, Sao Paulo. We were considering different places, like Javier was proposing Peru, Costa Rica, and uh, I was uh, suddenly receiving information about Natal as a place for me, according to my astrology map. Uh, it's a point where I can connect uh, more to my self-realization uh, career-wise. And I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. I would like to see how I feel there, what uh, ideas come to me. And then this information came and I said, look, let's go first to Natal. I have no idea what it is. I remember the moment where she was like, Javier, I know where we're going. And I'm like, here we go. Because I could hear it in her voice that wherever she said, it was exactly where we were going. And she mentioned Natal, Brazil. And I was like, what the f*** is that? Um, but I felt how she felt about her insight and believed in her and for me it was new i have never been to south america so like contrast to what i'm used to a lot of like rubbish in the streets and generally like um, very very retrograde like very de de decadent and i was like uh and uh, it was like okay how does it have to do with <laughs> with my goal and interest from start then little by little i began connecting here to uh, certain states that I remember only from my childhood or that I didn't feel for a long time states of like connection with your inner world so much with that space of uh, peace and pleasure and fantasy and exploration from which you can see what do I really want more from my pure soul space and through the recklessness of the city there's a lot of mysticism the people here have been entirely compassionate and very deep and open to connect, like everyone we've connected with has been very down to earth and centered and it's very nice to look at everyone in the eyes and just feel welcome even through the language barrier somehow. Through Portuguese and Spanish we understand each other. Uh, I think it comes from the nature around the, the skies, yeah. just like a beautiful blue and immense profound clouds all the time. Pretty much why we're here is to explore this unknown inspiration and connect with ourselves and nature around us, the people, and tuning back into our creativity and our dream. And Yeah, for me it was amazing to first time in my life see little monkeys making ultrasounds, jumping from tree to tree. Mm -hmm. All the of... sounds here and I got used now. Uh, for me it's totally natural seeing a lot of uh, uh, ants of different sizes walking through the house okay. and on the Bugs ceiling you can see insects, a frog sometimes uh, I don't know like a spider uh, or other creatures or like huge butterflies hummingbirds and butterflies yeah. uh, or cats shouting in the night I mean like it's street uh, cats just yeah <sighs> it's, for me this Lots has been interesting yeah. strange no? all things I've been I've experienced before being Latin from Puerto Rico and exploring countries like Mexico and Costa Rica but all new to Margo so I've really enjoyed introducing this culture to her because there's a lot of subtle beauty in it uh, very calm environment and compassionate people and now we were pretty much figuring out what to do next of course we want to go to Rio but we want to continue exploring unknown places that we have no idea of so we're going to head down the coast of Brazil visiting cities we've I guess heard some things about from locals but still really don't know much about it goes into the sense of adventure we initially begin traveling for like this road tripping is the best this exploration of the self in new places yes. connecting with people and completely unknown circumstances uh, so we'll let you know how that goes as we begin our road to Rio we'll be hitting a few cities along the way some that we have in mind to visit some that we'll probably just end up at we'll share some more info on that enjoy it and enjoy this video and our road to Rio so ciao for now okay amigos that wraps up our time here in Natal Brazil six weeks of exploring unknown landscapes in a city we knew nothing about before coming 
Now we're getting ready to head to Rio, but we're gonna stop at a couple more unknown cities along the way during the week leading up to Carnaval. We hope you've enjoyed these travel vlogs through Natal, Brazil, and stay tuned for the rest of Brazil with us. Also watch the Brazil drone film I've published here on YouTube. Listen to Candel Dragon and Silskin. We'll see you in the next episode. Ciao for now. Ciao.